Hey guys, Michael Clark here, co-founder and CEO of BAM Weather. Congratulations on making your purchase here for the enhanced subscription for the weather portal. How you make decisions based on the weather forecast going forward will never be the same. The first thing you're going to do is go to your app store, whether that's the Google Play Store or the app store for the iPhone, and you're going to simply search weather porthole and you're going to download this app right here with the black radar and the orange ring around it and you'll see you can see it's BAM weather right you want to go through and verify you've got the BAM weather app once you do that you will log into the application with your email and password that you have chosen and make sure that you click allow notifications once you do that okay you'll create a location by adding it here at the bottom where it says add location you would simply type in the name address city and state and click save and you would go into one of those locations by simply clicking on it to verify that you've got what you need. To go back to that dashboard, I tap the top left right there, okay, that little radar emblem. And you can see I have these red notifications, two, six. You can also see I see all clear. In the event that you would have lightning, you're gonna have lightning notification here. In the event that there's an NWS alert, that all clear would tell you that there's an alert in place as well. What this means here with the six red notifications, the bottom right means you have unread chat notifications. All right, the chat is where everything comes to you in terms of value, where our meteorologists are sending you custom information at all times, right? This is very important. This is the most important part of the enhanced subscription uh, in the application where you're getting our meteorologists sending you information, right? So for example, click for a nowcast graphic. You can see what happened here is, is our meteorologists have come up with a graphic that's important for you as it pertains to your forecast, okay? Um, you can also, you can text right here and just basically say, test, uh, please reply, right? And, and, and essentially it's like a text message. You see it comes across the top where you, you get the notification that I've sent something, but someone will reply back uh, rather quickly, our staff is trained to reply back with most of the time within seconds, if not within a couple of minutes, to give you that reply uh, as it pertains to your question. So if you have a question about snowfall, rain, when it's going to come, when it's going to stop, how much, the duration of it, uh, you name it, and you'll get a reply here from our meteorologist. So as soon as we get that, we'll come back to that. All right, and there it is right there. There's a reply from Vince. It'll say, got it. You're good to go. Okay, back to the home screen. This is your now screen. This is current conditions. Okay, past rain, past snow. You got this, you got the look here at the next few hours. All right, I wanna to go to a location that has a little bit more in the way of possibly something to track. We'll go to this here. All right, and you can click on this. And this is when you click on an hour, you're gonna to go to this expanded uh, screen here with all this information. All right, and it's gonna have all of this stuff. Now, if you've added Pavecast to your subscription, all right, you're gonna have our pavement data at the bottom. If you didn't, you won't see Pavecast at the bottom, right? Uh, but as you go across the forecast here, it's gonna give you a 36 hour view. It updates every hour, all right? With new information out to 36 hours of uh, probability of precipitation. The precip that's accumulated, you can change that by tapping on this. It changes it to liquid snow and ice. Temperature, wind, visibility, and then the pavecast. This morning here, we're forecasting some frost on the pavement with the surface temperature below freezing. I can change it to cement, rock, and sand, and then back to asphalt, all right? Pretty, pretty neat tool there. Then you can click on the little information icon next to pavecast to give you more information about what that what that is, all right, what that is. Now we go to the 10-day forecast. There's a, a, all kinds of information here uh, from high and low temp, wind, confidence and trend radials on the forecast. For more information, you can click the information icon here. It'll tell you about the confidence and trend radials as well. We also have a new feature this year where we have snow and ice percentages separated from rainfall chances. So there is a ton of weather data that's going into this. Um, it's, it's weather data that you would never find anywhere else, right? We have all of our metrics here for uh, evaporative transpiration rates soil temperatures, dew points. We have a spray forecast. If you wanna look out for spraying conditions, obviously you're not gonna be spraying anything in the winter. Conditions last year and what the averages are. 
Then we have our chances tab. It's very important you read the information icon too on what these mean. This is basically us showing you all of the weather model data, what the risk is in all of the weather model data, right? We have all of the information displayed here so you can see it, right? In this particular location, snow chances are increasing here late month into early December, and there's lower chances for higher amounts uh, as you go forward. You just simply change that by tapping this icon up here on the top left, okay? Video. If you see that it's an orange dot next to it, it means you haven't seen the latest video. You simply tap on that and you're able to watch the latest video forecast. Uh, anytime that light comes back on orange, it means you haven't seen the video yet. Maps tab, 24 hour rainfall, seven day rainfall, pretty self-explanatory tab here. Uh, snowfall maps, three to seven day hazard map and our 10 to 20 day hazard map. Long range tab, uh, yet again, pretty self-explanatory. This gives you the long range video, the long range PDF, our week one outlook, our week two outlook, our week three and four outlook, and then we go out several months. And this is just telling you what this means, right? Uh, in terms of what the forecast is. BN for below normal, AN for above normal, MB much below normal, or MAN stands for much above normal, right? So uh, th these maps help you with the long range weather forecast. Then we're gonna go into our weather radar. Our weather radar is high resolution, MRMS, multi-radar, multi-sensor with precipitation type. And we've got to find some precip to, to even see if there is any going on. Here we go in the northwest portion of the country. Snow, ice, rain uh, radar. And then there's also the future radar capability. All right, but you would press play. It's going to give you the loop here, fully interactive. You can go anywhere. This tab is loaded with features. There's too many to go through here. The one I'll show you is the future radar. Uh, there's too many things here to... Uh, to, to look at, okay? I, I don't have time in the video to show you all this stuff, but there's observed rainfall, observed snowfall, um, so on and so forth. You, know, you can look at the accumulated snowfall for the season, turn lightning off and on. I can change the, the color of the base maps. We can go light. Um, there, there's, very, uh, there's a lot of tools. The big thing here is, is that it's interactive. I can zoom and touch the map and it'll, it'll pan out totals for me. I can go all the way down into street level. I can go as far down into the map as I want and click around for different snowfall totals. And that's a big, big tool uh, for you, especially in the snow removal industry. But again, you can see there's all kinds of things here going on. Current observations I can plot. You know, there's endless tools on this. Uh, current visibility, current temperatures, all of it. Okay, so there's a lot of information on this. Before I sign off here, I wanna show you one other thing. On the top right, you see that little human uh, icon there. That's where you're gonna go in and, and, and talk about information. If you wanna change the sound of your alerts, we can, we can change those, right? We can change the way those sound. Go to account, that's where you're gonna find all of your account information. Now, if you click into a location and you want to, let's say, edit, you can edit the address of the location. You can change your lightning settings. If you subscribe to lightning, it's very simple. You just tap in here and just change these uh, and just hit save and your lightning alerts will save. You go to the NWS section. You can select which alerts you want to receive by turning them simply off and on, okay? And which advisories, watches, warnings you want to receive or don't want to receive by simply selecting them. And you would hit save, okay? If you want to change our custom threshold alerts. These are alerts that we have created here in-house at BAM Weather. If you want to know when snow's in the forecast, freezing rain or rain, those are automatically already turned on. You're going to get notifications when those enter your forecast. You can get notifications for fog, wind chill, heat index as well by simply turning these off and on and clicking the save button. So this application takes everything you've ever needed for weather and puts it all into one source. So there's a lot here. But if there's anything we can do for you at any time, if you have any questions, all you gotta do is hit that chat button, all right? And let us know if you need anything. We appreciate your business. We're excited to work with you. Hope you have a blessed day.